Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 191 and Kimo out here doing a video, a very the very first shooting video with the brand new Colt Combat Unit handgun. And I might want to take the good ammunition out of this damn thing. I was about to shoot up the expensive stuff. That's for a later test. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison between the recoil impulse of the the new gun with standard 230 grain ball ammo and my old range officer. And I've got this sort of line here to give you an idea of the muzzle flip. And what we're going to do is when I upload the video, is slow it down so you can watch the muzzle rise. And of course, it's going to be a lot different because I got the light on there. But we're not testing the gun without testing the, uh, the uh, stream light uh, TLR2 also because it's supposed to be shock resistant. We're going to find out. Kimo, you ready? Yep. All right, she's going to tell me when I'm level or pretty damn close to it. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to shoot and see what we got. All right, here we go. Right there, baby. Yeah. All right, it's real low. About two and a quarter inches low. Inch low. That's it. Function flawlessly. So now we're going to try the same ammunition. The same PMC 230 grain ball ammo at the range officer, and we'll do the same thing with the lines. All right, ladies and gentlemen, part two of it. We got the old range officer with the whole grips on it. I just loaded in a fresh mag of the PMC 230 grain ball ammo, and we're going to do a recoil comparison as I already stated. So here we go. Kimo, you ready? One damn thing about it, I'm used to this gun and this trigger, and the group is a hell of a lot better. Go ahead, baby. Let them see what it looks like. Uh, Kimo said she wasn't going to get on camera for love or money. She said, hell no. So now we're going to do some more shooting with the uh, new combat unit from Colt. First impressions, it shoots lower than the range officer. Does not have adjustable sights, so I've got to um, figure something out with that. Um, I'm going to use my 10-round Chip McCormick mags now and just some reloads that I reloaded. So we're going to go from there and see how well it does with a 10-round Chip McCormick because um, a lot of 1911s do not like that extra power in the springs, but they're old, so it should function just fine. And, ah, oh, look at there. That first mag, it didn't go all the way in the battery. That's one of the things about these damn Chip McCormick. Sometimes they just don't want to feed them in all 1911s. That's all right. I bought two brand new Wilson Combats to go with this one, so I got four brand new mags. And hell, it did worse that time than it did the first damn time. You know what? Let's screw that damn bullet. Now. It might have been something. It might have been bulged a little bit. Maybe I didn't resize it correctly. So we only got nine rounds in this one here. Top left-hand corner. Going to put it dead on the bullseye. And it's shooting about an inch long. Yeah. 
It's not a bad group. It fed all the rest of them just fine. Recoil impulse is real nice. It's smooth. And of course, the earlier testing will tell on the muzzle rise. Really, I can't really tell any different one way or the other. So now we're going to go to the bottom left-hand corner. It's got one round in the uh, right top corner of it. So uh, I know where it's at. So we can keep an eyeball on that. I'm going to aim at the 12 o'clock position above the bullseye and see if I can drop them in because we're about an inch, inch and a half low at this distance. We're only about three yards away from the target. So it's not exactly difficult. And that one went two inches low. Inch low. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Failure to go in the battery. It's these damn reloads. That's the thing, when you, you lose reloads, you don't really know for sure if it's the gun giving you shit, an old magazine, or the ammunition. All the factory mags, the brand new mags, as well as the factory PMC ran flawless in both guns. So I'm, I'm really thinking it's probably, um, I didn't seat them well enough, didn't resize them or something. But uh, anywho, gonna reload some mags and do it again. All right. Um, sometimes I get in too big a hurry, I guess. It peeled the gilding metal up right here. I guess the camera can see that. And see the tolerance is, it's a little higher than the case. That's a national match chamber. And that's that damn berry bullets. It's just gilded uh, lead. So it's gilded with uh, uh, copper. I peeled a piece off of this one. I think I can get this in the chamber. We'll see. But yeah. I'll try it again just for shits and giggles. But that's probably what the problem was. If you don't chamber this time, we're not going to try it again. Hey. bit of metal that was surrounding it that's why I held this off and I peeled it off my fingernail bam so when I um, I think I'll need to inspect it lights just a touch loose all right it's tight again just <laughs> other than those rounds and that one time I didn't lock the slide back on that one particular magazine shit man it did good thank you very much for watching all right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you something amazing. With the new magazines, the light, the gun, and the ammunition, you're looking at about $2,000 sitting here. And nobody, nobody, not GT Distributors, Academy, Sportsman's Warehouse, Cabela's, nobody, none of the local dealers had a holster that would do with, work with this gun. So Mac Daddy 1911 May 1 took a coffee can and 25 cent of duct tape and built his own. Kiss my ass, all you some bitches. Oh, and by the way, I wanted a uh, Black Hawk that would fit with the light. You can get one just for the gun. You cannot get one for the gun and any light other than proprietary Black Hawk. Screw you, Black Hawk. Um, going to probably wind up with a Safari Land holster before it's over with. But right now, damn it, nobody had one yesterday, so I built what I built one, damn it. And I ain't ashamed of one damn bit. It works just fine. So, uh, were you finishing off this, the PMC?
230 grain ball. Got two full mags. Both of them Wilson Combat. Um, both of them brand. Well, one of them brand new. One of them is my older one. Got a uh, one of the new tactical with the new quote unquote tactical floor plate. That's a brand new Wilson Combat. I think it's a 500 is series is what it is. But the, uh, the they're lettered and everything. Both of them eight round. And in this, this is one of the factory Colt mags, also eight round. They function flawlessly. The guns work just fine. All right, bottom right hand corner of the target. We're gonna finish off these uh, three fully loaded mags and the two I got in this uh, last mag. And we'll call it good, give you our initial impressions. These are not reloads. These are all factory loads, so they should perform flawlessly. Those damn buried bullets, I don't think I'll be buying any more of those gilded bullets. Ah, that third one. Center the target, right hand side. Whoa, that's the trigger. And I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm having too damn much fun. Whoa, Nelly. That's the first time one of the Wilsons didn't lock it back. Too big a hurry. I'm wondering if I might have limp wristed that last one. That's all right. I'll buy some new springs for them old ones. With the factory ammo, good magazines, y'all saw it ran flawlessly. So, I am very pleased with it. Now, let's see this. Yep, the light's still working. We'll just have to assume that the laser's working because... Um, you can damn sure tell it. It gets into your fingers, but it controls the recoil really well, I think. I think it really freaking... I think I did good. I think I did good. She's a bit warm. Look at there. <laughs> I got crap muzzle dust and crap off onto the... Uh, uh, to the flashlight. You can see I oiled the piss out of it. It's, it's uh, damn oily back there. But damn it, man, I, just, I love the way it feels. It feels great. So, anywho, Mac Daddy 1911A1 with his new Colt combat unit. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Maybe the camera will get that. I don't know how well it sees it, but anywho. You guys take care. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more videos on this gun, how well it's performing. And uh, can't beat it, man. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care and have a great day. Like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook.